on this episode of The Commercial Break. Hey, cats and kittens. It's me again, Christina, the audio producer for TCB. Brian and Chrissy are uh, still taking a break, lazy bastards, so you're stuck with me for now. If you're like me, you might have come to TCB mid-season, and then when you heard that terrible sound at the beginning of the episode, you know the one I mean, yeah, the one that sounds like a cat being dragged through the streets, you probably thought, what in the hell was that? Well, here's the explanation. It's aliens, because of course it is, from episode 230. The next episode of The Commercial Break starts now. I learned that Demi Lovato had has a brand new television show, and it's all about her encounters with UFOs. She actually video recorded a, a, a UFO sighting that she had. And to me, it looks pretty convincing, yeah, actually. I'm glad she got it on tape. Yeah, I'm glad she got it on tape, too, because or else she'd just be the Monster weird hunter. celebrity. <laughs> yeah, she'd be like the guy from Blink-182. <laughs> Who's, who, anyway, so uh, that got me interested in watching the show, I watched a couple of episodes, uh-huh. and Demi Lovato is still a very attractive woman. Yeah, so I she's was like, great. I wonder if you know the if she gets some alien dick out of this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, she's bi, so she's could be either way. She's uh, non-binary, mm-hmm. is what she says, and she is bi. She's fluid. She is fluid. What they call it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sure the aliens are fluid too. They've got to be. They've got to be. Like you think they care about yeah. which gender they're having sex no. with? The Romans didn't. It's <laughs> no, only exactly. it's only in the 1980s <laughs> that we get all upset about gay people. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Jeez. It's only since Reagan have <laughs> we been so obsessed with what other people do in the bedroom. Fuck off. Who cares? Let's give a shit. Uh, the Romans were fucking anything with a they hole were. all over the place, and they didn't care. Oh, yeah. They were just having fun. They were. All right, to each their own. So I decided I'd take a. I'd go back to a fetish I'd heard about many, many times, which is alien sex. Like lots of. A win, it seems like women especially are very interested in alien sex. Okay. And I thought I would find they a video. They must have had some bad times here on Earth. I mean, <laughs> don't most women. Isn't that just I one of mean, those things? You just that you turned them turned them alien. Aster and I were talking about this last <laughs> night. Don't ask me why Aster and I were talking about this last night. We were talking about how a woman really has to just like the whole, there has to be a whole thing. It's like a whole head, heart, body. It all has to be in it, in the moment, working together, in conjunction with yes. each other to really feel yes. intimate and yes. turned on, right? True. That doesn't mean it has to be a lengthy encounter. It means it just has to be working in unison. Exactly. Right? Unless it's just you're fucking somebody so fucking hot that doesn't matter who it is, you know, it doesn't matter how yeah. good they are. They're just going to you know, jizz anyway. <laughs> but then men were like physiologically built to just like spread our seed. So it doesn't yeah. really matter. We're just like, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way more visual That's for men right. and way more um, mental for women. If, facts, mm-hmm. right? Scientific facts. Yep. One out of 10 dentists agree. So <laughs> this, is, this has been sponsored by Oral B. Sponsored by Oral B. Oral blowjobs. <laughs> oral blowjobs. <laughs> oral blowjobs. <laughs> keep, keep your mouth fresh while you're sucking that cock. Uh, so, this, so I think that most women that you would talk to would say that they've had really unpleasurable sexual experiences before because maybe part of it is, is that it, you know, in that particular moment, everything just wasn't working together. Yeah. And all of a sudden it became either comical, boring or upsetting. Right. It was yes. just like, Oh, this is not, I'm not, I'm not here. Not I'm not here it. Yeah. Meanwhile, talk to him, ask a guy how many unpleasant sexual experiences they What's have that? had. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's fucking me? <laughs> How quick can they get here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the truth is, is that I can think of a few, but it's because they were comical, upsetting, or boring, yes. right? They yes. were actually those things. Not it wasn't in my head. It was, mm-hmm. you know, we had the gobbler. <laughs> uh, we had the person who did not move whatsoever for any. Oof. Yeah, it was yeah. really weird. It yeah. was like having sex with a dead Corpse. body. And I learned after I had dated her. That that was actually that actually turned her on. Oh, <laughs> like kind of playing dead, letting it happen, like okay. you said, letting it happen. Okay, whatever, whatever. You're did I say that? Uh, <laughs> yes, you just did. Okay. <laughs> like three minutes ago. <laughs> ah, da, 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 da. Uh, welcome to the com- <laughs> what? What's the name again? What? A commercial break. Who made that name up? <laughs> I'm on a podcast. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, so I went around and I searched around for videos. With people that talking about their encounters, sexual encounters. With aliens. With aliens. Like to hear one? Yes, of course. 
This is a couple that, uh, well, I'll let them explain themselves. This okay. is uh, another British documentary here. Oh, that's the wrong one. There you go, right there. British documentary. Go to DC. Go to, uh, don't go to TC. <laughs> go to YouTube.com <laughs> slash the commercial break. Or you could go to TCBpodcast.com. Or you can go to Spotify Live. You can go to Spotify Live, the commercial break mm-hmm. live on Spotify. And you can watch the entire episode a day or two after it releases. We also do the same thing on YouTube. And we put out clips every single day of the week for your viewing enjoyment. Please subscribe if you would, because, uh, you know, we don't have any subscribers, so we need a few of those. All right, here we go. This is Alice Haggerty. She's a divorced mother of three who now lives with her boyfriend, Pat Marcatilio, in the otherwise... Not to make fun of Alice here, but Alice looks like an alien. <laughs> And he looks like he's from 1970s Vegas. You remember that video game, uh, Leisure Suit Larry? Yeah. Do you remember the video game where he thought Hot Tub Larry or whatever it was? Yeah. That X-rated video game that came out right when computers were around. And they had like the little, <laughs> it's this guy. He's got his shirt yeah, he's on. He's got button. a gold yeah. chain. He's ready Dyed to black hair. This guy is sexy. Unremarkable. If I was having sex with that, I'd probably pretend I was having sex with aliens too. Yes suburb of Trenton, New Jersey. There's one, huh? Oh, yeah. There's one. Look at <laughs> that. That's a flying alien cock right there. That's how we just saw it. <laughs> Look at that alien penis. <laughs> They're just sitting out in lawn chairs. Yeah. There's uh, one right there. Yep. In the broad daylight. Dr. Dr. U.S. Aliens, and that she has seen them throughout her life, even if for a long time no one would believe her. Uh, I'm assuming no one still does believe her. <laughs> These people live in, what is that show? Yikes. Extreme Hoarders? Yeah. Yeah, this is extreme hoarding. Anytime It's you, organized hoard. Yeah. Any, it's an organized hoard. <laughs> it's swarm. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you put a stained pillow on top of your couch cushions to sit on, Mismatch. it's probably an indication of yeah. how clean your house is. Right. I'm just sharing that. Right. I told my mother at one time that I was seeing these beings. This is when I was seven years old, eight years old. And I was told I was seeing (laughs) demons, that I was um, fooling around with stuff that I shouldn't be. It was... Like my vagina. (laughs) Fooling around. (laughs) This lady's out there, dude. Lord. hard because... I'm not a liar. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not making up stories. These things really happen. Okay. So this is a husband and a wife that are sitting together. The wife is in a muumuu, a literal Walmart muumuu. She's got horn rim glasses on. Huge glasses. Huge glasses that make her eyes look like alien eyes. Uh, a possible perm a, with some bangs. Yeah, the, and, and the roots then, from 1997. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got Leisure <laughs> Suit Larry, <laughs> who's got his hair slicked back. He's got a Black Hawaiian hair. shirt on. Uh-huh. With it, gold chains. Yeah. With it gold, com- gold rings. Gold rings, gold chains. He's got his shirt open. He seems like he might be. <laughs> he seems relaxed. Yeah, he seems relaxed. And when she said, I'm he's not like, a liar. That's my girl. And he said, I'm not a liar. He put his hand <laughs> to his face. Face. <laughs> like, oh, here she goes again. <laughs> Oh. But everything changed when Alice met Pat. The two of you are beginning a strange journey. They met at a UFO conference. There's an alternative Let's just say Pat her. is no skeptic when it comes... <laughs> There's a page turner. <laughs> ...to aliens. In fact, he's downright obsessive. He's collected pretty much every UFO publication ever published. Real sex, and some rather dodgy videos. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I just saw a tape that said real sex 20. Call for Bob on and That Garden was on State, HBO. HBO is calling. <laughs> Press 1 to accept the charges from Sork. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Bob. What's going on? We'd like to come down and do some fucking. Can you get the HBO documentary crew there? Yeah, no problem. I got you covered. Uh, when are you coming? On the 19th circular of the moon. <laughs> We'd like some hot Zork cock. Zork? I don't know where I made that up, but I love it. Zork. Yeah, this guy's a full on fetish freak. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Alien, Alien erotica, erotica. Secret files. files. 
Could you please <laughs> find a way to make sure that these tapes do not get out? Oh, I got you covered. I've got a VHS tape. I'll write secret files on it. No one will ever see it. Thank you. Is that the best security <laughs> Earth has to offer? It's the top of the line technology. I'm going to break the little tab so it can't be recorded over. <laughs> you are great, Bob. Thank you. You will get much alien pegging when you get there. Ah, I love the pegging. <laughs> Oh my god. It's two. Naturally, their relationship blossomed. <laughs> and then an unplanned blossom. Awesome. <laughs> like a flower. Naturally. Yeah, on the moon. These two. And of events gave he them had both me a, a real difficult sex decision yeah. to make. <laughs> you had me an alien dick, honey. <laughs> you had me an alien jizz. Yep. The first time you said Zorn come, I was like, oh, yes, she's my girl. She's the That's one. my girl. She's the one. <laughs> Oh. oh, Alice came to me um, and said that she was pregnant. And uh, I said, oh, my goodness. You know, and we were surprised. We were both surprised. She was. Don't worry. The baby can come live with us. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the first time she said she was pregnant, I was like, oh, oh well, there's another one. I got to throw away her phone number, too. <laughs> Up Christmas, uh, or was that Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve, yeah. And uh, there was a big four four inch uh, spot of blood on her bed, and uh, she felt that she wasn't pregnant any longer. <laughs> it's called a miscarriage, I, know, I think, I was Bob. Say. Yeah, Bob. Jeez. It could have been a miscarriage, <laughs> but for Alice and Pat, is the guy that's much narrating this the same it. guy from ICTV? Uh, ITTV, <laughs> ITV, whatever it is, ICTV. <laughs> ISIS TV. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I'm sure that they share a lot yeah, of the same narrators. Yeah. Okay. Explanation. Aliens. Aliens. They had taken the baby. They, take, they took our baby. Most um, miscarriages happen around two months. I was beyond that. So I knew that, you know, something more was happening to me. Aliens. And, um, Aliens. <laughs> That's the first explanation I no always go to. No need to go to. to the doctor. Who drank the rest of the milk? <laughs> aliens! God damn aliens! <laughs> Where are my keys? Aliens! <laughs> Fucking aliens! <laughs> yes, we're just going to start blaming everything on aliens. Who shit in <laughs> Mia's diaper? <laughs> aliens! <laughs> God damn aliens! <laughs> they are so mischievous why isn't anybody listening to the commercial break <laughs> aliens <laughs> fucking aliens god damn it I'll get those aliens I can, don't let me know when they're coming I'm gonna get them <laughs> oh my god this is <laughs> it's a natural conclusion aliens <laughs> Uh, she had a miscarriage. You know, they took the baby. That's yes, what they did. They took the baby. <laughs> hey, Bob, it's us, the Zorks. <laughs> Don't worry, the kid is safe with us. <laughs> We're using him. <laughs> he's, he's on a hamster wheel. <laughs> he's currently propelling our ships through space. <laughs> His name is David. <laughs> Found out that I was actually giving the aliens my babies. Are they no, showing that like little? This is just like a weird. <laughs> they're trying to be trendy documentary. It's like it's a piece of shit. They show, yeah, they wind, show chimes. wind chimes. Yeah. Oh, aliens <laughs> and wind chimes go hand in hand. <laughs> why that chime just chime? That's a, aliens. Why, why are my French fries cold? Wind chimes or aliens? One of the two. Not sure. <laughs> Fucking wind chimes and aliens. <laughs> Nothing goes together like wind chimes and aliens, <laughs> ice cream and apple pie, <laughs> Chevrolets and cold beers, wind chimes and aliens. <laughs> yep. Thank Would thanks. aliens come and take Alice's baby? She's convinced it's because the baby was not actually Pat's, but the product of one of her alien encounters. Oh. And the good news is oh. that the baby didn't die. The good news. Ah, good that's news. the good news. That's the good news. The baby didn't die. This the bad news comes is out as a happy ending. We're not entirely. <laughs> he's being tortured by aliens. <laughs> the good news is he didn't die. The bad news is uh, we're not entirely sure where he is. 
good news is he didn't die. Uh-huh. The bad news is I was cheating on Bob yeah. with an alien. <laughs> that must have been great news to Bob. Bob's like, yeah. if it's not mine, whose is it? <laughs> aliens! aliens! <laughs> Fucking aliens. <laughs> Oh, you can, you know, aliens is a good <laughs> cop out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it really is. I mean, it's underused. <laughs> <laughs> yes, officer, was there a problem? You know how fast you were going? Aliens! <laughs> <laughs> or wind chimes! One of the two. It was the aliens. Uh, oh. Child is being brought up on an alien spaceship as we speak. And how does she know? Well, Alice says that on one of her trips into space, she Elon was- Musk <laughs> sent her up to visit. <laughs> Elon Musk got wind and tweeted back at her. <laughs> Free trip to see your Zonk child. <laughs> yep. Oh, that Elon Musk. He's saving uh, the world, he, isn't he? He really yeah. is. Introduced to hundreds of such alien human hybrid babies. Oh well, babies were extra small. Maybe he knows all the other. Maybe she knows all the other babies that the Wacken Tree guy was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I'm sure they're playing on the playground (laughs) Uh, together. Yeah, we don't. You may not have heard this episode. It may not have been out yet. Whatever. Anyway, we we reviewed a guy who claims to have had sex with alien named Crescent for over 66 years, Mm -hmm. but he failed to ask her why she (laughs) why he picked her. But he had like 150 alien babies that he saw in a glass case Mm -hmm. one time. Yeah. Six to eight inches. The hair was very, very fine. Very little of it. Uh, you could see the skeletal system through the skin. Oh, the translucent skin. Numb. Oh, translucent skin. Mm-hmm. But you know, why? Uh, that'd be no good for me. Yeah, I need a Zorn tanning bed. <laughs> you do need the <laughs> I need tanning, a bed. tanning bed. <laughs> but if you're, you have to think about it. If you're living in space and yeah. you're constantly traveling through, through space and there's no sun, yeah, I guess your skin would just turn translucent, right? Mm-hmm. But here's another question. <laughs> What kind of drugs are these people taking? <laughs> I don't know, but I want some. Didn't Jersey just legalize yeah. mushrooms and acid? <laughs> they did, some. I think, right? Normal, but you could see knowledge in the eyes. Um, unnatural, knowing that they had the knowledge of the universe. That they were much more intelligent than I could ever be. Bob's like, let's yeah. go back to watching <laughs> Real Sex 20. Yeah. Hey, honey. <laughs> you want... <laughs> I just did it for the erotica. You want to put whatever on, she says. You want to put on alien <laughs> anal and get it on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, honey, I have a headache. Uh, <laughs> According to Alice, her responsibilities don't end with breeding. The aliens have occasionally abducted her for a brief spell of alien wet nursing. Wet nursing? <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're bringing her up to breastfeed? Yeah. You mean the are. aliens didn't have that part covered? No. Yeah. They didn't think that through. <laughs> Hi, Bob. This is Zork from Ork. I just had sex with your wife many, 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 many times. Unfortunately, I didn't buy any. Formula. <laughs> I didn't buy any Gerber baby food. Do you mind if I borrow your wife's tits? <laughs> God damn it, alien! <laughs> You're fucking with my life. It wasn't my fault. It was the wind chimes. <laughs> when I was on board, I had to put my hand on this cylinder coming up out of the floor or whatever, and I could feel all my energy draining. Into the cylinder. Uh, there's that, a picture of this. This is like a glory hole this, to me. <laughs> <laughs> this picture is hilarious. I mean, they're, they're no, they're no Picasso. Yeah. <laughs> well, look what at did this you stick figure. <laughs> it's a stick figure. My hands on cone. There's a hole in the floor, <laughs> and there's a dick coming out of the floor. <laughs> Yeah. They had me put my hands on it, drained all my energy. <laughs> that's because that's an alien glory hole. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I have seen this yeah. before. <laughs> wow. And I was told that, you know, it's mother's love for the babies. And uh, somehow they put the energy into the babies. and Storage tank of mother's love. Storage tank of mother's love. 
Welcome back to the ship, Karen. Please go put your hands on the mother's love stick. Now rub furiously and vigorously. Yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. More mother's love. Don't mind what's coming out of the mother's love stick. That is mother's love. We are collecting it. This is hilarious. It, it says on here, storage tank of mother's love energy or life energy. I think in human terms, that's called a used T-shirt. Possibly a towel. We are collecting mother's love. Keep rubbing, Karen. Keep rubbing. <laughs> this show is so stupid. We are so stupid. <laughs> I know. Uh, this is crazy. Karen's whacking off yeah, aliens. Yeah, it's, <laughs> like it says base. Yeah, it says base. It looks like a ball, a testicle. I kept rubbing the base, and they kept telling me the mother's love's coming through just fine, Karen. Keep on rubbing. <laughs> Uh, and in a minute, you're going to see a new mother's love stick come out of the ground. Don't worry. <laughs> it might have a different color. Maybe it's it's going to bend to the other way. <laughs> oh, my, oh God. my God, Karen. <laughs> You've well, been tricked by gotta, the aliens. we got to keep going to for keep, a minute. Yeah, yeah. What, know, what else course. is Apparently, on this drawing? We cannot live without the, a human touch. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I was the universal... Whacker offer. <laughs> the picture was, I was indeed. Yeah, I was the and, alien masturbator. Uh, <laughs> That's what I did. I got an important position. Bater of the universe. Love machine, you know, for the babies. A milk machine for the babies. <laughs> And Alice isn't the only one to claim to have given birth to hybrids. Oh, okay, we're going to an... Oh, oh. oh God. Oh, oh. Years oh, wow. after her encounters with the reptilian alien, Pamela says she woke up one night, stark naked, and surrounded by alien beings who led her into a room inside a spaceship where some <laughs> tiny figures were waiting. <laughs> Why are they showing children? Why are they showing children? That's a little weird. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little <laughs> flashback from it all now. Oh my god, this is uh <sighs> Yeah. There's a blonde <laughs> bombshell on the screen right now. I mean she's a little bit older, but you can tell that she's a good looking, yeah. attractive woman. Yep. And she's all sexed out. She's got a see through shirt on with a lace. She was sitting bra. by the pool in a yeah. lacy dress. In a lacy lacy dress and she, they've she's been taken to a room with children apparently <laughs> for sex. I don't know. <laughs> There were four little girls who rushed over and grabbed my arms and started calling me mommy. Get off me! I don't know you. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, little brats. Welcome, Danielle. And I woke up in the grocery store. <laughs> the children are going to take you to the mother's love stick. <laughs> oh. We need a new mother love milker. <laughs> We want to try you out for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I was too freaked out to embrace them. And I kept saying, let me go. And they said, mommy, don't go. And I said, let me out of here. Get away from me. And all of a sudden, it felt like I fell back through the door. I woke up in Kmart. <laughs> I woke realized up in- I had been on a drug bender. And that's when I woke up at the Rusty Nail Bar. <laughs> And Kenneth was trying to stuff a key full of coke up my nose, saying, you got to wake up, girl. Your kids are here. You nodded out. Your kids are outside in the car, all four of them. They were just in here screaming, mommy, mommy. I don't know what pills you're on, Karen, but you got to get it somewhere else. My bed startled. Oh, my God. And I was so panic-stricken. I can't remember when I have been more afraid. I noticed my arms were kind of sore, and I looked down. And I saw little dime-like bruise marks on my arms where my daughters had been grabbing me. It hit me 
that I must have been through something truly physical. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> it's called a crystal meth binge. <laughs> It's called ayahuasca, and you shouldn't yeah, do it around no, your children. No, oh, my God. Okay, just another couple of minutes here. So, yeah, it was pretty scary, especially for someone who never wanted children. <laughs> you didn't say you didn't have them. <laughs> yeah, he said, he, <laughs> he said he never wanted them. He said they weren't them. yours. Yeah. <laughs> never wanted them. You never wanted them. All those pregnancies just went straight yeah, up to Zorn. Yeah, Yeah, with the other lady. Ah, uh, yeah. See, that makes a whole lot more sense now. God, I love being in on the joke. If we can call it a joke. Well, Brian and Chrissy wanted me to remind you to send comments, questions, or content ideas, please God, to 855-TCB-8383. Come on, let's freshen this shit up. 855-TCB-8383. Go to the website, tcbpodcast.com, and check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the commercial break. Until next time, I'm Christina, and I never say, bye! Breast milk science. It's a thing. And it's our thing. We're Byheart. We're an infant formula company on a mission to get a lot closer to the most super, super food on the planet breast milk. Our patented protein blend has more of the important and most abundant proteins found in breast milk. We're the first and only US made formula to use organic, grass fed whole milk, not skim. We make our formula in our own factories in Iowa, Oregon, and Pennsylvania, using a small batch manufacturing process that works to preserve the integrity of our ingredients. We ran the largest clinical trial by a new infant formula company in 25 years and clinically proved benefits like easier digestion, less gas, and softer poops versus a leading infant formula. We were the first infant formula company to earn the Clean Label Project Purity Award. And while we've put a lot into Byheart, there's a long list of things you won't see on our ingredient list, like no corn syrup, no maltodextrin, no GMO ingredients, no soy, no palm oil. Byheart, a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com.